In Acts 1, St. Luke records Jesus saying that his disciples would be witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth that they would go forth in these ever-expanding circles, empowered by the Holy Spirit to speak to kings and to commoners, to friends and to foes about the risen Jesus, and eventually to bring untold numbers to saving faith through that same word. The word that you hear every Sunday in church, that you read in your devotions. So in most of our churches this year, the first scripture reading during the divine service is from the book of Acts during Easter. These readings tell the story of those disciples going forth to speak God's word to the masses. And it's important to note what's happening in these scripture readings as the season moves along. You see that the word of God is moving from Jerusalem out into the known world and beyond. This is the power of God's word, that it indeed does that thing for which it was sent, to bring eternal life to all who believe. And so St. Peter and his closest friends get in trouble for repeatedly proclaiming Jesus in the temple courts and around Jerusalem. Later, Peter calls on his hearers to repent and be baptized The faithful love their neighbors by pooling their resources to help those in need. Deacons are appointed to help the needy so that the disciples can attend to preaching and bringing the sacraments. And St. Paul speaks to the philosophers in Athens about the unknown God and how he has worked salvation for even the worst of sinners. None of this is by accident. None of it's by coincidence. This is how your Lord Christ works in this world, bringing his word to you through his called servants from wherever they were sent with all of their humanity and their frailties that you may hear in your ears and touch on your tongue the word of eternal life, the risen Jesus for you.